from the station working for you. This is a WRTV update. I'm Lauren Casey. Thanks for joining us. We've seen a large number of Hoosiers waiting to get tested for COVID-19 this week. For example, there's a long line of cars wrapped around the Fisher's Health Department. At first glance, the latest COVID update from the State Department of Health does not appear to show a major increase in cases. But keep in mind that these numbers reported are from Monday only to the Health Department. A closer look shows the total number of positive COVID cases has increased by more than 20,000 since the last update, which was last Wednesday. A total number of deaths has increased by 53 in that time, and the seven-day rate of positivity has also increased to 13.7%. The Fisher's Health Department is offering walk-in vaccinations from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. through Thursday. We're learning nearly half the people have been getting vaccinated at this site so far have come from outside the city of Fishers. You can find a place near you offering vaccine appointments at ourshot.in.gov, or you can always dial 211. Airports around the world are still dealing with about 2,000 flight cancellations. Many of those flights are coming into or out of the U.S. Thousands more flights are also delayed. Delta, United, JetBlue, and American Airlines say that they're experiencing staffing problems related to COVID-19. Only a few flights at IND have been canceled so far today, but as always, if you're flying, check your flight status before heading out the door. We also may have some weather to contend with today. Kyle, what can we expect out there? Yeah, Lauren, that rain could slow you down a little bit. We'll have temperatures that really don't move a whole lot through the afternoon. About 45 in Indianapolis, you'll make it into the lower 50s in Bloomington, but that rainfall will add up to about another half to one inch of wet weather. We've already seen over three inches of rain here in the month of December and it continues to go. But behind the system, we are not going to see those temperatures drop. In fact, they will rise and then they finally come down here as we get into the new year. The extended forecast shows a little bit of dry time there mixed in between, but I do think we're going to see some rain showers moving in for New Year's Eve.